I also want to go across to Nambi Narayanan, who's joining us first and exclusively for his reaction after that historic moment, golden moment for India, touching down on the south pole of the lunar surface, never achieved before. Mr. Narayanan, thanks a lot for speaking to us. Uh, from, uh, you know, for the space community, of course, this is a huge, huge achievement and you've contributed to India's space journey. But what do you think it means for India and the entire world today to achieve a feat like this? Yeah, sure it is. It is a great achievement and uh, certainly I feel proud of it and uh, I'm not only happy but also excited. So, so that's what it is. Yeah, tell me. It's been a long time coming, sir, isn't it? Uh, of course, India has been working, uh, it has been behind a few other nations, it hasn't had the budgets that some of the others have had, or even the focus on space exploration. But the kind of strides we have made in the last 10, 20 years are truly remarkable. You know, but I, 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 I differ from you in some sense, in the mm. sense, uh, there was no dearth of funds from, uh, for the past uh, at least 5, 6, uh, 10 years. Yes. But uh, the whole thing is, uh, we have announced a certain private participation in the space sector, mm. which would mean that uh, there will be funding coming from outside ISRO or mm. out, outside the exchequer. So that way you will have prob no problem with the funding, but the problem is that we have to plan it uh, uh, well. And then, uh, of course, ISRO has established its own name hmm. in the society. So there should be uh, no, no problem with respect to funding. Uh, yes. Which is your camera? No, absolutely, sir. I, I don't mean that there's been any issue with the funding, especially the last few years. But I'm saying that historically, amazing countries like the U.S., Russia, even China more recently. What do you make of the fact that India has now become the first country to touch down on the South Pole, even though others have, of course, touched down on the moon uh, previously? Well, uh, I, I personally feel that uh, instead of saying that we have touched down the South Pole, honestly, I would say that we have touched down on the moon surface. Hmm. And uh, that is more important than... Uh, overemphasizing the South Pole. Yes, South Pole is there. It is not seen. Now only we are going to see and then we are going to uh, find out what are the things which are covered there. Hmm. But I personally think that, uh, again, I have repeatedly told in many areas that uh, hmm. this space exploration is going to unite the world yes. in the sense that your work it can't be in uh, isolation. Mm -hmm. I don't think that India alone can achieve uh, whatever uh, you think of uh, space-related matters. It has to be in union with uh, almost all the countries in the world. So that, that is the way it has to be thought of because you have no choice uh, in, in terms of not only the funding. For example, you want to, uh, you want to have a tracking station. You mm -hmm. want to have uh, a support uh, route. You need uh, every country, even if it's a small country, they will have to participate in this or they will have to give consent for this. Mm -hmm. So in that way, it is better to have a unified approach. I have a feeling something will be moving around in that direction uh, if you want to have meaningful space-related work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sir, does it also feel like, uh, you know, uh, one of, uh, uh, because, you know, we, you've been through a lot, uh, you were accused of what you were not guilty of, you had to step aside from your... Uh, first love of space science. How does it feel today to see India achieve this milestone? Well, I would personally prefer not to mix uh, my personal issues with uh, uh, this matter. And also, it is not uh, traditionally a good practice to think of the bad things while you are in a celebrating sure, mood, sure, right? Sure. So. Let, 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 Sir, let actually, us, uh, if you just if you just permit occasion. me, if you just permit me, R. Madhavan, the Indian actor who's actually portrayed your role as Nambi Narayanan in Rocketry, the film, is also joining us live on the broadcast. Mr. Madhavan, thanks a lot for your time. I've got Nambi Narayanan with me. Uh, your first thoughts on the landing that India has successfully managed on the surface of the moon. You know, first and foremost, let me congratulate Nambi sir while I haven't because I haven't been able to talk to him since the uh, successful landing. So Nambi sir, congratulations to you too and all the scientists in ISRO. This spectacular feat cannot be redefined 
you know, I can't even begin to explain to you the amount of, uh, uh, you know, the work that must have gone in from, uh, from after Chandrayaan 2 to what has happened right now. Uh, and in the short time and the limited resources, what the Indian Israel scientists have managed to do is just, you know, it's made of rock, you know, this is rock star material. This is superstar material. I want the scientists of India to be celebrated as much and if not more than the, than the cricketers and the actors uh, get attention in this country. This is really the beginning of a great era for us in India. Absolutely. The kind of encouragement something like this will give to the future generations is yet to be compounded. But it will have that kind of effect. Madhavan, why don't you go first and I'll take that same question to Nambi sir as well. You know, um, uh, earlier on it, it, is, uh, it was said that those who control the seas control the world. And then they yes. said oh, those who control the airspace control the world. But we know now today that the space is the final frontier. To have a footprint there keeps everybody at bay and you, and you establish your supremacy. And you know, at this achievement for the youngsters in India, for the village boys to know that this happened and get, develop an interest into science, into mm. space travel, into trying to achieve, um, you know, dominance in space is going to be so spectacular for this country. And I'm, this couldn't have come at a better time and, and, and a more emphatic victory is hard to imagine. Absolutely. India is the youngest country in the world. We've got so much potential. Nambi sir, that's really uh, the big thing to look forward to. The fact that this landing is going to inspire a whole generation, multiple generations of young Indians wanting to do what you set out to do. <laughs> Actually, it was a surprise which you pulled on, which yes. I never expected. <laughs> I don't know how you located Madhavan in the whole... <laughs> Oh, you want to say something to I him? I was uh, thinking of him and... Uh, yeah, actually, I should congratulate him for his uh, excellent work on rocketry. In fact, that film made, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, myself... Uh, you were talking about the cricket stars and the film stars and all. This film made me equal to them in one sense. So, uh, wherever I go, I am uh, uh, more popular in that sense. But what Madhavan has achieved is... Uh, what he has told itself, you know, he has made a film which is inspiration to all. I don't think that even, you see, my fans are the youngest generation, 10, 12 years old. These small kids, they bring their parents to me and then say, this is so-and-so. Now, this was achieved only by Madhavan. Hmm. That, that, that film has a tremendous influence on the minds of the people. And he has not only acted, but he has directed and, uh, well, I don't know how yes. to... Explain. And this is one occasion, Madhavan. Madhavan, before I just let you go, uh, you were talking about the influence this will have and how India will be a leading for factor and force as far as space exploration is concerned. And that's the next big frontier, isn't it? So, a country that not many would have given a lot of chance, a country that manages to pull off these missions on budgets that, you know, film industry may, spends on one movie. This country is going to be the feet of the entire world. Let me explain to you exactly what you have said uh, to in, uh, in layman's terms. What, is, what does India achieve by putting a satellite on the moon? You know, the, it, it, could be, it could be seen as something that is insignificant in terms of, yeah, so what does it achieve and help us? So let me explain that. The technology involved in putting uh, and achieving something like this to land something so remotely gives rise to multiple technologies that can be used in day-to-day -day life for yes. the betterment of Indians. Okay, that's, that's what the achievement means for us, that our technology is sound, that our, our calculations are sound, that our perceptions are sound, and there other technologies that emerge from this mission will be instrumental from medical field, from science, from, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, remote sensing satellites, from uh, defense. Every technology that is an uh, outcome of this particular mission is going to be useful that puts India in a much better position in the world then compared to the other countries who have not managed to achieve this. And that is what the impact of such an achievement and success is going to be on India. Absolutely. A lot of consumer technologies are going to be spun off from the technologies that have been tested, tried and successfully executed during this mission. And the information, of course, that we will get from the rover is going to be another deal altogether. Armadhavan, I do really appreciate you joining us. Many thanks for your time.